And welcome back to episode 8 of Pilates Flows at Atlantis, a series where I will demonstrate and give you the tools to do the sequences that I post to my Instagram. Now let's get started. In that series, we did five different exercises. We started out with a jump and bird dog. Then we came down onto our side and we did four different foot variations and our side jumping. So let's get the reformer set up. Let's first start by getting our spring set to one red spring. Then we'll adjust the foot bar all the way down to make room for the jump board. Place the jump board into its slot and you're all set up. For the bird dog jump, make your way down onto your hands and knees on the carriage. With your right hand in the center of the headrest, your right foot back onto the jump board, your left knee to the edge of the carriage, and your left hand down by the side of the reformer. Carefully jump off the right foot and extend the left hand forward. Tighten your abs and squeeze through your right glute. For our sideline jumping, we'll make your way down onto your right side. With your right elbow over the shoulder block, your right hip down on the carriage with both knees at 90 degrees in front of you. Press down to your right elbow, then bring your top foot onto the jump board in a parallel position to the floor. Carefully jump off the top foot, squeezing in through the thigh. Try to keep your top foot in line with your hip. Then we'll switch to a turned out position, turning the top toes and knee up to the ceiling. As you turn out, Make sure that your hips and your shoulders stay square to the edge of the reformer. Again, carefully jump off the board, squeezing into your quad. Then let's bring your foot back to parallel to the floor for our leg lift. This time, as you jump off the board, keep the foot parallel to the floor and lift the top leg as high to the ceiling, squeezing in through your top glute. Remember to tighten the abs as you do this, keeping the hips still. For our last jump variation, we'll turn the foot out again and again, we will lift the leg as we jump off the board, squeezing the abdominals in to help with the leg lift. Remember to keep pressing down through the bottom elbow the entire time. All right, and that'll be it for today's episode. Now remember, for that first bird dog jumping exercise that we did, we got onto the reformer onto our hands and knees. We had our right hand to start on that headrest right in the center. We had our right toes back on the jump board. Then we had our left knee on the carriage to the very edge of the reformer and our left hand was hanging by the side of the reformer. As we jumped off of our right leg at the same time we reached our left arm forward reaching through those fingertips creating that nice long line from left fingertips all the way out to your right toes before carefully landing and bringing that left arm back down as we bent our right knee. Then for our second exercise, we came down onto our side on the carriage. We had our arm over the shoulder blocks. Remember, we are pressing down through that bottom elbow, lifting up through the ribs so that we're not sinking into the shoulder joint. We're staying active through all that musculature. Then we had our foot on, our top foot on the jump board with our toes uh, parallel to the floor. We did our jumping there. Then for our second variation, we did a turnout, turning our toes and knee up to the ceiling. Remember, when you turn toes and knees up to the ceiling, we're not also leaning back, peeling our hip. We're trying to keep our hips and our shoulders squared towards the edge of the reformer. We did our jumping there. Then we turned our foot back parallel to the floor. This time we added a leg lift. So as you jump, you kick that top leg up to the ceiling, keeping those toes parallel to the floor, really feeling it in that medial glute. And then we turned our foot back into our turnout. And this time as we jump, we kicked our toes straight up to the ceiling. Again, being mindful not to twist the hips and shoulders. We wanna keep them stacked one on top of the other the entire time. Now, if you learned something or if you liked the video today, please leave me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you next time.